right so here so in the first step what happens an impulse from cns reaches the reaches the neuromuscular junction via motor neuron right neuromuscular junction is the synapse between the motor neuron and the sarcolemma of the muscle fiber a motor neuron plus muscle fibers is called motor unit okay right next whenever muscles receives nerve impulse then what happens synaptic vesicles release a neurotransmitter that is called acetylcholine earlier we discussed the structure of synapse in the synapse what is presented the neurotransmitters are presented that is called acetylcholine when neurotransmitters are releases from the synapse whenever it receives the nerve impulse right synaptic vesicles releases a neurotransmitter acetylcholine it generates an action potential in the sarcolemma that spreads through the muscle fiber whenever acetylcholine is releases so what is the function of acetylcholine Acetyl acetylcholine generates action potential in sarcolemma in the muscle action potential is going to be initiated by the acetylcholine that spreads throughout the muscle fiber the action potential spreads throughout the muscle fiber and it causes the release of calcium ions from sarcoplasmic cisternae into sarcoplasm so sarcoplasm consists with uh, there is uh, so many calcium ions are presented in sarcoplasmic cisternae those calcium ions reaches to sarcoplasm and directly the calcium ions directly attaches with the subunit of troponin of actin protein right so calcium binds with a subunit of troponin on actin filaments and unmask the active sites for myosin whenever for the subunit for the troponin in the actin protein the troponins are presented for troponin calcium is binded then unmasking is takes place earlier we discussed uh, the troponin is masked the myosin binding site uh, on the actin so whenever calcium attaches with troponin then unmasking is takes place using energy from atp hydrolysis myosin hand binds to the exposed active sites on actin to form cross bridge so we discussed that there is atp as enzyme is presented using energy from atp hydrolysis myosin hand binds to the exposed active sites on the actin to form cross bridge so here cross bridge formation is takes place so when cross bridge formation is takes place atp hydrolyzed and formed as adp then myosin head attaches with actin why actin binding sites are myosin binding sites are exposed on the actin right they, this pulls actin filaments uh, uh, this is called cross bridge formation this pulls actin filaments on both sides towards the center of a band the actin filaments partially overlap so that h zone is disappears right see here in the diagram you can easily understood so this is myosin head this one is actin filament so all actin filaments uh, all myosin all myosin binding sites are exposed so myosin head after hydrolyze of atp myosin head is attaches with actins right then cross bridge formation is takes place so here attached and here also attached completely attached myosin head attached with actin then cross bridge formation whenever cross bridge is formed the myosin head pushes the actin filament towards the towards the h zone so here you can easily understood so this is myosin thick and this one is thin and both are attached and here h zone is more and here h zone is here h zone is less what happens because the actins are going to be pushes towards the myosin myosin is standard but action actin only moves okay that only given here uh, using energy from atp hydrolyze myosin had binds to the exposed active sites of the actin to form a cross bridge this pulls actin filaments on both sides towards the center of a band the actin filaments partially overlap so that h zone is disappears so completely h zone is disappeared on the strong contraction the z line attaches to the actin is pulled uh, inwards it causes a shortening of a sarcomere short sarcomere is shorted so this see here short, so sarcomere length is more and here sarcomere length is shorted because of i band is moves and a band is standard 
actin is moves but myosin is standard that you need to remember right and next one i band get shortened when a band retain the length i band get shortened i band get shortened but a band is retain the length this is a band from here to here i band a band so this is same length but i band shorting myosin releases the adp and uh, pi phosphate and goes back to its relaxed state once it pushes towards the h zone myosin pushes towards the h zone and myosin releases adp plus phosphate and goes back in the relaxed state a new atp binds and that cross bridge is broken whenever new atp is binds so one atp adp hydrolyzed then cross bridge formed pushes towards and again new atp it has attached then what happens cross bridge cross bridge is broken and the atp is again hydrolyzed by the myosin head and the abo process is repeated causing for the sliding whenever again it is attaches and again it is going to be what cross bridge formation is takes place then again same process is continuing when calcium ions are pumped back to the sarcoplasmic cisterna actin filaments are again masked this is going to be continuous up to where whenever calcium ions attaches to the troponin when calcium ions attaches to the troponin whenever the neurotransmitters are religious when neurotransmitters are religious whenever nerve impulses are religious in case when nerve impulses are going to be back when calcium ions are pumped back to the sarcoplasmic cistern actin filaments are again masked when calcium ions is going to be back means the nerve impulse is going to be back and obviously the actin filaments again masking is takes place whenever masking is takes place then what happens as result the z line return to the original position it result in relaxation that is called relaxation obviously it is relaxation so this is relaxed zone this is relaxed and this one is contraction and this indicates maximum contraction h zone is completely overlapped the reaction time of fibers varies in different muscles the reaction time of fibers varies in different types of the muscles in different muscles it different in muscles and next one repeated activation of muscle leads to the accumulation of lactic acid causing muscle fatigue this is due to anaerobic breakdown of glycogen in muscles so completely so suppose for a, for a, for example your neat examination is 3 hours only so the neat examination could be conducted up to the 10 hours we were start bubbling uh, 10 hours going bubbling 10 hours your hand will be getting pain what is the reason because of uh, your muscles are morely stressed the morely contracted so the only, so that only there is formation of lactic acid repeated activation of muscle leads to the accumulation of lactic acid and causes muscle fatigue the muscle tightness is exhibits this is due to anaerobic breakdown of glycogen in muscles so anaerobic breakdown anaerobic means without oxygen a uh, breakdown is takes place and glycogen formation with anaerobic breakdown of glycogen in muscles so that only lactic acid formation is takes place then you feel pain right okay next one there is two different types of the muscle fibers are presented red muscle fibers and white muscle fibers red muscle fibers are aerobic white muscle fiber aerobic Ma- white muscle fibers are anaerobic red colored uh, due to myoglobin and white colored due to lesser myo- myoglobin more mitochondria is presented in red muscles and less mitochondria is presented in white muscles aerobic metabolism anaerobic me- metabolism oxygen without oxygen less oxygen slow or sustained contraction fast contraction or short period right these two differences also most important and hope all of you understood uh, uh, sliding filament theory and sliding filament theory uh, related one video also i will send and remaining topic we will discuss remaining regarding about human skeletal system we will discuss in next class next session right thank you very much bye bye